When you mention the thyroid, do, are they treating thyroid disease? Yeah, yeah. Right now, we're mostly treating uh, benign thyroid nodules, and a lot of those benign thyroid nodules are showing up more with these GLP ones, right? Because it, it, I think people lose a lot of weight and now they're nodules that are more visible. Sometimes they can be problematic because they can compress other structures in the neck. And so you can just put a needle in it. When I was back, when I was a general surgery resident, we didn't really treat benign nodules outside of just taking the thyroid out. Uh, typically you take the thyroid out if it's a cancer. Um, but benign nodules, you left them alone unless they were causing major kind of compression. And then within the last several years, they started using energy devices like radio frequency ablation to ablate them. Well, the problem with RF is that it's a, it's a burn and there's all kinds of nerves that run around it and you can have collateral damage. So with this, with pulse field ablation, nanosecond pulse field ablation, we can put a needle into the nodule. You can zap it with electricity and it will shrink down without all that collateral damage of RF. So it's the same principle in the heart. Certain tissues are very responsive to this kind of electrical zapping. Other tissues are more resistant to it. So we can treat certain disease processes without some of the collateral damage. And well, what are the other areas of healthcare that um, can benefit from it? I mean, honestly, I think there's going to be a lot moving forward in the future. But when you think, you know, we haven't really gotten into the cancer realm that's something that's you know down the line is is what everybody really wants to get into ultimately if we can treat cancers without having to do large operations you know that may be something we see but we're so far away from that at this point but what about say men with enlarged prostates you mm -hmm. know would that be something that could be treated where instead of having to roto root or something you could actually do a very short ablation that's nerve sparing and may allow for men to, you know, have better, you know, uh, uh, genital urinary function. Uh, that may be that may be something. There's esophageal issues that could potentially benefit. So there are so many areas of the body. It's such a new energy, mm -hmm. and it's been mostly targeted at the heart, and specifically atrial fibrillation and arrhythmias right now because cardiac tissue is exquisitely sensitive to this energy. But I think the sky's the limit as far as how far it could go.